our festival makeup with priming the skin so that our makeup will last all day as we dance the night away. I'm choosing a foundation with a matte finish and a shade lighter than my skin tone. Since our look is inspired by the 70s, I wanted to emulate the fair porcelain skin that many women from the 70s had. Don't forget to dab some on your eyelids and also on your hairline so that the foundation coverage is very even. Next, we're gonna put some life into my eyebrows. With my Rain Doll Double Ended Brow Brush, I'm going to do a slightly thinner brow than what I would usually do. I usually carve out the second part of my brow and then use the spoolie to slowly blend into the inner corner. Next, we're gonna use concealer to not only cover imperfections, but also to highlight specific parts of my face. I apply a long strip down my nose so that my nose bridge will look higher. Lebih lancong, guys. And I'm gonna use my finger to blend out the top of that line so that it doesn't look too harsh. Finish off with your beauty blender, make sure you dab really well and get all of it into the crevices. We're moving on to this NYX eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use the gold color in the palette and apply it all over my lids with a flat brush from Rain Doll. With a fluffier flat brush, I'm going to apply the dark brown glittery color to my outer V. I'm actually going to be quite generous with this color because I want it to be dramatic. And then use a clean fluffy brush to just blend it all out so that there's no harsh line. I'm going to dig in this Kat Von D palette and use the seafoam color to apply generously on my lower lash line. Bring that color down more so that everyone can see what a beautiful blue color that is. And then I'm actually going to finish it off with some glitter. I apply some to my hand first and then coat my synthetic brush evenly. And then I'm just going to apply that glue onto my lower lash line. Next, dab the glitter on top of the glue. I used white glitter with blue reflex in it, so it ended up looking very pretty. All you gotta do now is just finish out with your fiercest wing liner. Women from the 70s really like to sport crazy liner and crazy lashes. They also had really long bottom lashes, so I'm gonna draw it on with my eyeliner because I have none of that naturally. I'm just gonna go off camera and apply these goddess lashes from Coco Lashes. Next, just set your whole face with your favorite translucent powder and then we're gonna go straight into contouring our face. I'm using my stippling brush from the brand Royal and Langnickel and I apply my contour to the hollows of my cheek in a circular motion. I find that this gives the most natural contour and it doesn't leave that ugly line on your cheek if you know what I'm talking about. Don't forget to apply to the temples of the forehead as well and the sides of the nose. I'm using my brush from Luxie Brush and this is a brush that's specifically for nose contour. Give your cheeks some love with this corally blush color. I've been absolutely obsessed with this color. It just gives such a pretty glow. I finished my face makeup by blending out my nose contour with my powder brush that had some powder left on it. Now for the fun part, I applied some gold stars under my eyes. I put the stars in relatively similar positions so that it's symmetrical. And then with these really pretty crystal stars, I just kind of played around with it. As you can see, I put this one too far, then I put it too close, and then I just kind of played around with the placement of the stars. And I just played around with the different sizes of the stars. The only thing I kept symmetrical between the left and the right eye was the amount of gold stars. So that was three. And I also placed them in similar positions. 
I'm finishing off my whole makeup look with a really easy peasy pink lipstick color. I think this is just flattering for any makeup look. And it's not matte as well, so it doesn't look super drying on the lips. And that is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed my very first concept video. Please don't forget to subscribe!